guys, it's Kelly. I just finished filming this look and it's just a natural everyday kind of makeup look, but I wanted to pair it with a bright lip. I'm really into bright lips for the spring and summer. And I do live in the South and so I'm also into really glowy skin. So I did do this on camera and talk to you guys just a little bit about different things. So I'm not sure if this will go up first or that will go up first, but one of them at some point, this look will go up and listen to me and give me some advice about some of the things I talked to you about. But anyway, today what we're here for is what you saw in the title, and it is my Sephora VIB Rouge sale. Um, I did not pick up that much, really. Um, I actually picked up one of the Natasha Denona 28 pan palettes. <laughs> Yes, I was stupid enough to do that, but um, I decided to return it. Um, $240 is ridiculous for a palette. I'm not saying I won't buy it again in the future because it was absolutely gorgeous. I got the green and brown one, and I absolutely loved it, but I just moved into a new house. I'm trying to get settled. I'm trying to um, get all the things that are needed for a new house, and I'm trying to get a son graduated, and I could not in good conscious, consciousness or conscience, I could not in good conscience um, keep it. I just decided that I would rather put that money into my son and his graduation expenses. And so, yeah, there's that. So, what I did buy, um, I got some samples as usual. Um, of course, uh, I love that they have started sending. It's an envelope and it's full of all different kinds of scents. It's the different scents that they have. This one, for example, you can see that I've already pulled it up. This is the replica of uh, Beach Walk. And you just lift it and you can smell it. There are tons of them in here. And they've started putting these in here. And I really like it because um, you're not going to get like a really true experience with it. But it's going to give you an idea if it's something that you would kind of maybe enjoy. That way, when you go into the store, you'll have an idea of what, if you're wanting to make a, a fragrance purchase, then, you know, you might have a better idea of what to ask for or where is it, you know, that sort of thing. So, I'm going to be going through all of these. I only um, opened the one. I think it smells really, really good. Um, replica is very expensive. So, of course, most all of them are, but um, yeah, you know, you want to go in and you want to know that you're putting your money somewhere that it's going to be really enjoyed. Um, I did go into the replica first, and the reason for that was because it was Beach Walk. Um, I have the uh, Bobby Brown Beach or whatever. And when I first got it, I hauled it for you guys, and I, w I just loved it. I mean, I just absolutely loved it. I loved smelling it and everything, but as I wore it on my skin, it became just a very straight-up, copper tone, yucky sunscreen smell. It does not mix with my chemistry at all, <laughs> and thank goodness all I bought was the rollerball and not the full... Um, you know, the full size because it did not, it did not bode well at all. <laughs> I did get a, um, a sample of Poison Girl by Dior. Let me open this up and show you what a cute little bottle it is. It's very, very, very cute. I'm going to be trying this. It, uh, it just says Dior on the front there, but isn't it a cute little bottle? It was a deluxe sample. I spent some of my points to get this. Really, really loved it. Um, that it was there because I've been wanting to try it. So I will be trying that one for sure just to see how it mixes with my body's chemistry and that sort of thing. Something else that I got is something that I've been, I have so many um, fragrances, body mists, those kinds of things. But I've had, I've fallen to the YouTube maybe buy it situation. Um, I did not buy the Brazilian the Sol de Janeiro uh, Bum Bum Cream, but I did get the Brazilian Crush, um, the Body Mist. Guys, oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I have worn this. I don't know, and I've been wearing it. This is the most delicious, wonderful smell. It has a warmth. It smells like 
paradise. It absolutely does work with my chemistry. I absolutely love this. I've worn it a couple of times. It. I did want you to know what the um, the fragrance notes were, but it's pistachio and vanilla, and it has some other things. I don't think it even, it may say on the side. Okay, inspired by our addictive Pistachio and salted caramel scented Brazilian bum bum cream. Brazilian Crush is a delightfully sunny daily immersion for use on the body, hair, and lingerie. Uh, guys, the fragrance notes are the top notes are pistachio and almond, and yes, you can smell that. The mid are heliotrope jasmine petals. Yes, you can smell that. And then the dry notes are vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And sandalwood, anything with sandalwood in it grabs my attention anyway. Guys, even the box smells just delicious. This stuff, absolutely 100 would recommend it. I'm going after the bum bum cream next. <laughs> I, I've got to have some of it. Um, oh my gosh, it has just, the times that I have been um using it it just is delicious so let me go on now to the um things that i actually ordered i have been wanting to kind of step my feet into the world of cream products like a uh, cream highlighter cream um contour and cream blush and i did not want to pay for full price items yet so i found this this is by tristique and it's a mini contour travel set. It comes in this little zipper thing. And all it is is uh, your three um, pencils. They are wrapped up very neatly. So let me unwrap those for you so you can kind of see what I'm working with here. Okay, so we have the blusher. And it is like this right here. It's a very pretty color. Uh, let me put those down so that I can um, show you. Um, it's a very easy color, if you can see. It's a peachy pink, which is one of my faves. And then the highlight, um, I don't think that they have actual colors. It just says mini highlight stick, but it looks like this. Let me put some of that on for you. But I hope, that, yes, you can see. Is that not gorgeous? I thought right on the top of the cheeks or right here to make a little mustache and then the contour stick it is this medium brown color and i would just blend this in with my beauty blender and i'm very excited to have this and i'm going to be putting these to good use um and then if i decide that i do like a cream product then i will buy uh you know a full size but i thought this would just be a cute little way to test out the waters um okay the next thing that i got was from um it's smith's tropical ambrosia balm with coconut and mango this is a lip balm now you know i've had things from um you know this company before but it, this is a very thick you can see there's just a little bit of it there it is a very it's like a very stick st it's like a very stiff I would say a very stiff Vaseline, but it's much more emollient. The smell is amazing. The taste is delicious. I've used it once, and that was last night before bed, and I think that it really helps my lips a ton. I, I am all up in love with me some of this. I think it's delicious. If you see a sample out, you need to smell it. I think that you would really enjoy it if you tend to have dry lips. Okay, then I also went ahead and got another uh, green correcting fluid uh, from Urban Decay. As you know, I always have to use a uh, color correcting green over my redness before I put my foundation on. And if you've been watching me a while, you know that I'm getting very low on that. So I got a backup of my Urban Decay corrector. And then I was able to get two more of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I went ahead and took them out of the box. I absolutely love her, you know, her, her formula. And the last couple of beauty videos, including the one that I have on now, this color that I'm wearing is Mother. That is a, it's a bright true pink. And um, it looks more uh, fuchsia on camera, but it's actually a very true pink. Um, the colors that I got in this one are um, Bachelorette, which is this more, it's actually, 
it comes across as a little bit of a hot pink, but this is a real pretty red. It's just a, it's a cool tone red with a hint of pink to it. It's, but it's more red than it is anything else. So even though it does come across as more of a pinky red, I'm gonna just do a small swatch on my hand for you. You can see that it is, well, it still doesn't really come across as a, as a red. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. I also picked up, and I actually got three. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, I can't help it. And I wanted lots of colors. This is Monica, Mun something like that. M-U-N-E-C-A. Um, and this is the one I'm a little concerned about because it is so pale. But I think it's this one right here. If I can get it to stop making that funny glow right there. Um, it's a very, very, very strong nude. But I think if I put a pretty darker um, liner underneath, like maybe Cafe Olay from Rimmel, I think it'll look really good. And then I also got this one called Beloved. It is a coral color. And to me, it's a true coral. It's a, uh, it is stunning and I cannot wait to wear it. But um, that's it right there. Isn't that pretty? I mean, this is, it's a, it's coming across as more pink, but you can see in the tube, it is a true coral. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love that. And one thing that I was really excited to get as a sample was another, um, I spent my points to get one that was a tester that'll go in my purse. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't see what the name of it is. I think it's, um, I don't know. I think it's lovesick. Honestly, I do believe it looks like lovesick. I have lovesick over in my, my drawer. And I just absolutely love, it's just a very pinky nude. And I'm so excited. So guys, I got my contour sticks. I got um, the three Kat Von D, the extra Kat Von D with points, my Urban Decay concealer. Um, I got the Poison Girl deluxe sample. I got this delicious um, lip balm and I got the bum bum cream and I'm so happy. I didn't buy that much. I usually just go all out and I did actually purchase, as I said, that uh, palette, but I really do believe that um, that's better for somebody else right now. I just need to focus on home. <laughs> That was a little much. I always try to use that sale as an excuse to get one luxury item for myself, but that was a little over the top for right now. So I will probably wait until I have saved a little money for a haul before I make that purchase. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed my quick little haul and um, don't forget to watch um, the makeup look that I upload where I do this face that I'm wearing now. And I do hope that you guys have a great rest of the week. It's hard to believe how fast time is flying by. So yes, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.